is Dr. Z. We're going to do a little lesson in obtaining uh, images or pictures to use in the presentation or in your assignments. Uh, one of the things, if you don't have any images, you can go to Google like I did and I uh, typed in what I learned image. And we'll see that we have several images here that we can use. Uh, we have lessons learned, what I learned from uh, right here. This person with all the books, he looks rather smart and problem opportunity. But we're going to see first how we would even save an uh, image to use. You do a right click on your mouse and you come down and you see where it says save image as and you click on that and it will open up on your computer. All computers generally have a picture folder. So you want to click on pictures. Okay, to make it easy for you to find your, your image later, click on new folder and make your folder for pictures. for presentation or whatever you want to use it for and click on it then click on it and save your image of what I learned and this is the type image is going to say JPG image which makes it easy for you to use later on and click save okay we'll do that again i like this one right here this can be a man or a woman do a right click come down to save image as click on it it will open up right into your folder and we'll put a person with books and learning and save and we can do another one with Einstein right click come down save image as I'm build a JPG image and we we'll say man at the blackboard. Okay, save. Now we might want to look at other images. So let's go and let's type in thank you. Thank you images. And you see, we have a lot of images here. Oh, thank you. Uh, and then you might say, thank you, picture images. Click on that. Okay. The web has a lot that you can do uh, to get yourself, uh, make, make your... Okay, we run into a problem here. Thank you for adding me. And we can do a right click on that. Save image as. Click on it. And thank you. Just giving you an idea of how you can get you some images or pictures to put in your assignments. Okay. This is step two of 
inserting a graphic, especially <coughs> in Word, but this will work just about in any work that you are doing, if it's in PowerPoint or Publisher or even Excel. Notice the top of your um, menu and you have home and we're going to insert and remember with uh, step one is that we got uh, graphics from the web so we're going to click on insert and notice it has pictures so we're going to go to the, our picture file that we saved our pictures in and mine is in the mayor's commission on literacy in week six And see, uh, we have many pictures that are saved. So I'm going to use one uh, that you already know about. Let's try the thank you. So you click on it, and then you click on insert. I advise always uh, using it on plain uh, sheet or the plain topic because then you can work with it before you put it into uh, your template. Okay, we now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do what we call, it says wrap text. That makes it so you can move it around. So if you see wrap text and we click on square. And you notice you got these little things around it. And if you click it, you can move it. Okay, you can size it. Two ways you can size it. Uh, you can size it here, where it says size and position. But you can also click your shift key and grab this little handle down here and click and click on it and make it big small and make it large now there are two ways too that you can move that and, and put it say like in this box you can move it like that and put it in the box Let's put it back to where it was before, or we can right click it right click it and see where it says copy. Okay, we can copy it. Then we can go down to the box and we can paste it two ways. We can go up here to where it says paste up here on the menu and it paste it right in. And then like if we want to uh, make it larger, push down the shift key, get the handle, and then you can make it. This is a way um, that you can insert your pictures. Practice it. Uh, now that you have time, practice it and uh, see what you do. When you, the next time you do a presentation, you can put your pictures in there. Dr. Z.